In 2019, Google announced their quantum computer Sycamore for the calculation that took the world's fastest supercomputer two and a half days, just 200 seconds. This represents an increase of computational power by nearly 100,000%. That's crazy. Imagine you were a thousand times faster, a thousand times smarter, or had a thousand times more friends. Life would be different. So what does this mean for us? And how is a quantum computer different from the computer in our home? Well, normal computers use tiny digital switches to keep track of information as either a zero or one. So if you wanted to turn on your phone's flashlight, a tiny digital switch is flipped from zero to one and <laughs> on comes your light. Quantum computers though, operate more like a spy network. Cool, right? Imagine a double agent. This agent reports to two sides, zero and one. These agents are just like subatomic particles called qubits that are aligned in magnetic fields and their states can be measured as either zero or one. Now imagine a double agent hasn't told us where their true loyalties lie, whether they are zero or one. Playing both sides allows them to answer questions differently depending on who asks them. And the longer the double agent is kept answering questions for both sides, the longer they can answer two questions at once. Scientists call this superposition. It's the idea that so long as the qubit isn't measured, it can be both zero and one at the same time. Ready to have your mind blown? Let's say you want to solve a maze as quickly as possible. How would you do it? Well, you'd probably try each twist and turn until you finally reach the end. Quantum computers don't need to do this though. Let's say instead of just using one double agent to solve a maze, we use a whole network of them working at once. And since each agent can be both zero and one at the same time, they can go both ways at each fork in the road simultaneously. And when agents share their knowledge with each other, they can spread throughout the entire maze all at once. This is an application of quantum entanglement, where no one agent is able to describe their location without the input of the others. So where a human or typical computer needs to try every way, a quantum computer can evaluate many possibilities at once. This means that even though one double agent can only answer one question two ways, when combined with another, they can answer four different ways, and three double agents working together can answer eight different ways at once, and so on. Now, Sycamore only used 53 qubits to calculate this problem and reduced the time by more than 100,000%. Imagine what 100 agents could do. With quantum computers, the synthesis of medicine that takes years could be done in a single afternoon, passwords become practically unbreakable, and extreme weather might become predictable. Although these amazing machines are still under development, breakthroughs happen all the time. Quantum computers aren't science fiction, they're real, and they're already shaping our future.